My name is Aliyah Ami, interning with Repco Media from Albany State University, majoring in mass communications. To honor military men and women, Noah Coughlin is traveling alone across the nation. On Memorial Day, he left Washington State with the intention of arriving in Miami on Veterans Day to complete his journey across the U.S. Coughlin travels 22 miles daily on average. He's now traveling through Georgia with roughly a month to go. As he passed through Kennesaw, he slowed down long enough to gaze at the Veterans Memorial. He claims that he frequently considered those who gave the ultimate sacrifice in addition to those who returned home and continued to serve in various capacities. Coughlin is currently completing his fourth cross-country journey. The purpose of the first three hikes was to raise awareness of uncommon diseases. This time, the focus is on paying tribute to the military's active duty personnel and veterans. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. IK Medical is a credentialed laboratory service provider for both insured and uninsured clients. We provide COVID testing along with vaccinations and boosters. Both DOT, non-DOT, preoccupational physicals and testing services are reliable with turnaround times to meet the needs of our clients. Our professional staff are passionate when it comes to providing high quality client care, even when we must go the extra mile. Contact IK Medical Diagnostic Service today at 229-405-1748 or visit our website. It's our business to meet your needs. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. According to the Atlanta Police Department, the Atlanta police officer responsible for Johnny Holman's arrest and death has been fired. Officer Karan Kimbrough was fired by Chief Darren Shearbaum for violating the department's standard operating procedures on August 10th during the incident. The findings of the administrative review show that Kimbrough should have had a supervisor present before Holman was physically arrested for refusing to sign a citation. Following his passing, Holman's family has consistently demanded justice. Family members have seen the encounter's footage, despite the fact that it hasn't been made available to the public and they believe the officer should be charged with murder. The family's attorney claims that the video would demonstrate that Holman repeatedly agreed to sign the citation even though it has been claimed that the deacon refused to sign it. The cause of Holman's death was determined to be homicide, despite the fact that the medical examiner discovered that heart disease played a role. The GBI requested that the footage not be made public until their investigation into the incident was finished. The car Holman was driving contained a number of bags of marijuana, a scale, and a revolver. There is no proof that Holman knew about the drugs and scale in the car, although the gun belonged to one of his grandkids. We're about to head over to Shaquez Gray, who interviewed an Albany State student, Chris Sparks, about his college life experience at an HBCU. Hello, my name is Shaquez Gray, a graduating senior here at Albany State University, majoring in mass communications. Currently interning with Rapco Media. Today, I had the pleasure to interview a student here on campus just about what the college life experience has been. Right, so tell me about your upbringing. Uh, my name is Chris Sparks and I uh, am a junior, second semester junior. Uh, so next semester I'll be a senior. Um, my major is mass communications. You know, I like uh, videos and, you know, uh, I'm not really into more of like the, the news journal part. Like, I ain't, I'm keeping it being with you on like that. I'm, right. I grew up like wanting to do videography and stuff like that. I always wanted to do the camera. Um, what was that? Uh, my passion. So, I, you know, say, so yeah, my passion is just like video and camera, being behind the camera, in front of the camera, mostly in front of the camera, and like, I love it all. Like, the whole thing, like, uh, just creating content, I mm -hmm. love it. So it's just like, when I do it, I put my all into it. Right. So, you know, yeah. Uh, and my my accomplices, accomplishments this far, uh, I, I, let me say, like, it's a long process. So to say that I've seen accomplishments, the, the accomplishments I'm looking for, I ain't reached those yet. Mm -hmm. The ones that I, you know, I, I'm still, I'm still striving to get those now. I gotta, you know, saying for, just to like, I'm hungry 
Right. So I got to keep going. So like, I just feel like what the little goals, like a hundred subscribers or something like that, or two hundred subscribers, I, I didn't hit those. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you know, I'm, I'm still hungry for more. And you know, my my youngest self, that's what it makes me happy now. You know what I'm saying? Like doing what I do right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I love it. Would you say getting to college would be one of your accomplishments? Getting to college was yeah, it can be. It's for it's my. I say it's more my a parent's accomplishment. Okay. Nah, for me, like, yeah, it's cool, I'm here. Uh, I want to take everything that, you know, college got and use it to my best ability. Right, right. But my accomplishments are way higher than college. It's like, okay, it's a stepping stool that I got to get through. Okay. So why did you choose ASU? Well, ASU was not my first choice. Okay. I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, I, this is, I, really, I wanted to go to the other ASU, mm -hmm. Alabama State. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? We, we live on earth right and you know we have to make money to right. like, go to do things like that right and it was a little bit more expensive to go out there you know so i kept it in state wanted mm -hmm. to go albany state my dad said look at this and I, boom i was like you know what I'll make the best out of my ability what i can do and what i'm doing so i, I once i came here though I, I understood you know rick ross went here for like a semester or something like that mm -hmm. so i was just like hey he ain't graduate from here, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I, I'm finna graduate from here, so. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what would be your most memorable moment on campus thus far? Most memorable moment? Uh, I'm going back to freshman year. It's okay. always freshman That's, year. It's always freshman, it's always freshman, freshman year. year. It's just like, cause you, it's, you're just getting woke. Right. Like, you just like, oh, this is what freedom's like. like right. Got no parents, not Different nothing. from like, high school. Yeah, I can't be like, like, my like, can I get some money? Like mm -hmm. to go out here, nah, you're not doing it no more. It's right. more like you on your own. Like, I mean, that's you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've adjusted and got right and you know how to maneuver my way, but you know what I'm saying? It's still life still got more to learn. Right. Okay, so what approach did you make academically freshman year compared to now? Mm -hmm. Would you say it's any changes? Uh yeah. Cause I can say the reason why I am a junior mm -hmm. right now uh, and not a senior is because that my second semester freshman year I didn't slacked off, man. I, I real true, 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 honest to God, truth. I got into a relationship mm -hmm. and it was it just went right. Like my like the relationship was. I mean, it wasn't, but what, what happened? How it happened? It was, and right. then it went to that transferring over to my grades, mm -hmm. and it just. So I yeah, felt art. It felt art. Felt art. I took art appreciation. Nah, that's all that I had to take. That was cool. But like you was taking classes yeah, for art, like painting and right. drawing. I felt that Ooh. it was crazy. But like I feel like art is in the eye of the beholder. Mm. You look at uh, Drake's new album. He just released a new album. Mm -hmm. His uh, that was his kids painting or art. Right. And uh, makes millions off of that. Yeah. So. You gonna tell me my art was trash? I don't believe it. No, nah, that's that's a powerful statement right there. Most people just like art is what, like you said, is what you see. A lot of people don't see that yeah. though. But um, what does college life mean to you? What college means to me is it means a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, understanding yourself. Mm -hmm. Understanding how to. Uh, move with with not too much guidance um uh setting your morals uh what what, what morals do you have what do you stand for mm -hmm. that's what college means to me what do you stand for because mm -hmm. you go to college and everything you did in high school could just go out the window and you not even use anything that you you not even the same person right. you come you come back home and they be like Where's John? Like, this is not John. Right. Yeah, yeah. so it's just like, you know, you just gotta find yourself, man. Integrity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what would be the best advice you would give to an incoming freshman? <laughs> Don't get in a relationship. Don't get in a relationship? Yeah, uh, but on the other side of that, <laughs> um, stay down on your grades, mm -hmm. for real. Like, if you stay down on your grades, you're gonna be, you're gonna be right. If you just stay focused, like, them, it's like, it's like freshmen going into high school, like mm -hmm. what your parents told you. 
you, you do good ninth, ninth, tenth grade, you be good. Eleventh, twelfth grade, yeah. you, you be alright. So kind of in the same boat, you know. What I'm saying just do your work. That's all you gotta do. If you don't do your work, you you dead. It's like that that freshman year is the foundation to it all. It's For like sure. if you mess that up. Mm -hmm. It can handle your senior year, your junior year. You may have to take more classes. It just, it all depends. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely completely agree with you, though. Like, sometimes I slacked off freshman year. Mm -hmm. And then following from freshman year, it was COVID. And everybody know how COVID was, yeah. you know, taking them classes online. It's crazy. It was crazy. crazy. Yeah. So, lastly, how was your mental health? My mental health? <laughs> Man. It's all right, you know, that's the regular man response. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all right. You know, if we, it's 2023, if I want to go more in depth, y'all want me to, uh, I can do that for y'all. Um, it's, you know, you know, it's. So let's just say a one out of 10, how would you say your mental health is? Like you being, a, you know, a student here, not, this is not home for you. Like it varies. As of right now, it's homecoming. So I can say it's about like a 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. It's definitely homecoming. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, not homecoming, it could be varied from, like, a six. Six. Yeah. So, let me ask you this. How do you cope with that? I what mean, you do personally? Tony, you just got to go. Mm -hmm. You got to go. Because, like, the reason that's, it's a six, because, like I said, it's, 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 it's my junior year. Mm -hmm. And college has a way of weeding out people. Mm. And the ones that you came in here with, mm -hmm. you're not going to see them next to you when you're walking across true, that stage. True, true. And rare occasions you might. Mm -hmm. Y'all locked in, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're going to find your crowd, find your crowds of people, mm -hmm. and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, we're friends forever. Y'all might be friends forever, but you're not there. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, ah, I lost my boys. Now I don't even go out no more for real, for real. Hi, hey. I agree with that. Like, like just thinking off the top of my head, going back to freshman year, like I would say, like it was roughly, it probably was roughly over ten of us mm -hmm. that used to be around. Mm -hmm. And I look now, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's not the same anymore. You rocking with like solo dolo most days. Yeah. One, two other people, and that's because we've been roommates for you for know sure. multiple years, yeah, something like that. I kick it with my roommates. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you for taking a couple minutes of your time for this interview. For sure, man, for sure. All right, appreciate you. All right. Skate. My name is Shaquez Gray here with Rapco Media. I hope you have a great day. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. The City of Albany, Georgia Community and Economic Development Housing Counseling Services are here to assist you. We offer pre-purchase home buyer education, post-purchase counseling, rental, fair housing counseling, mortgage default, loss mitigation, and financial literacy. Counseling includes financial budgeting, negotiating with the lender for a repayment plan to prevent foreclosure or a loan modification, identifying alternative solutions to resolve clients' mortgage delinquency and stabilize his or her financial situation, helping the client understand the foreclosure process. For more information, contact B.J. Jackson Burton at 229-483-7650 or contact BJ at bjackson at albanyga.gov. Or if you're in the neighborhood, stop by our office, Micro Business Enterprise Center, located at 230 South Jackson Street, Suite 315, Albany, Georgia, 31701. We look forward to serve you. Remember that fair housing isn't an option, it's the law. After allegedly leading authorities on a high-speed chase with his mother inside the car, 
A kidnapping suspect who escaped from the custody of the Dordery County Sheriff's Department is now wanted for reckless driving and kidnapping. Carlton Gillis, 37, allegedly escaped a detention officer while being held at Phoebe Putney Hospital just before 11 a.m. on Saturday, according to the incident report from the Albany Police Department. After getting away, it is said that Gillis joined his mother and stepfather in a green Pontiac and fled north of Jefferson Street, jumping a fence in a work site close to Phoebe. After spotting the car, a policeman followed them into the Liberty Expressway and stopped them. The stepfather was driving and Gillis was reportedly in the back seat. The officer handed Gillis a command after realizing he was the sought after escapee, but Gillis denied it. According to the investigation, Gillis used his hands, legs, and body to take control of the car while the stepfather was still in the driver's seat. As Gillis continued to travel east on Liberty Expressway, the driver was able to exit. Authorities pursued the car as it drove into oncoming traffic on the opposite side of the street while traveling south on Blaylock Street up to 80 miles per hour. According to the authorities, that is when they gave up the chase. The car was eventually discovered on Nona Drive and East Campbell Street with the passenger who was later revealed to be Gillis's mother. She claimed she tried to exit the car after telling Gillis to stop, but Gillis persisted in driving. She further said that he forced her into the car and drove off with her inside. Officials added that after hearing from the mother and stepfather, warrants for kidnapping, forced robbery, running and attempting to elude, and reckless driving were issued for Gillis. He is being intensively sought after by law authorities. Thank you for tuning in to Rapco Media. Until next time.